my greatest friend. I stood with him through his rise in power, but he became too ambitious. He threatened the very liberty of Rome, and as I, a loyal citizen of Rome, I knew then that his blood had to be spilled. He was an ignorant fellow. Never did he listen to any foretold warning. Beware the eyes of March. Beware the eyes of March. Oh, how dare you speak to me like that. Little did he know that it was him who was the fool. I remember the very day I was first told of the plot. Hello, Brutus. Why, hello, Cassius. Can I speak with you in private? Why, well, of course. That Cassius is a sly fellow, a sly fellow indeed. He softened me up with his kind words and compliments, and from there, he had me. I should have known from the beginning what his plan was, but I was too weak. And once I was in his trap, there was no going back. So will you help me with this? <sighs> I'm not sure if it's for me to decide. Please, if you'll come back at another time, maybe at my house, we'll discuss it then. Good day, Cassius. Yeah. The words he spoke stuck in my thoughts. They bid me awake at night. Who is this? It's Cassius and Casper. Please, come in. So are you in or not? Does it really have to be done this way? It's our duty. But he's my friend. I cannot let go of the fact that I must kill him. Which is, it is the only way. I know. I know. So are you in or not? Nothing, it's, it's just that I'm sick. No, you're lying. Please, Portia, don't make this any part of me. I'll explain later, but for now, just be a good wife and carry on to your business. Had I been able to tell the future and see the betrayal of Mark Antony, I would have changed my decisions and prevented the dire consequences that followed. But sadly, I am a mere mortal man. Good Roman, it is I, Mark Antony. As you know, today, Caesar was murdered by an honorable man, Brutus. They called him ambitious, but you know that he refused to crown him a free time. Is that not ambitious to you? Look at what these honorable men did to Caesar. Well played, Mark Antony. Well played. But despite your betrayal, I do not regret what I have done. He's right over there. Are you ready? Will you reconsider Metallus' Silver Brothers' banishment? No! Do you not know that I am like the Northern Star? Never moved? You are all nothing but the unnumbered spots in the sky. Oh yes, Caesar. But every star, even that of the North, shall one day fall. You fiend! Oh, Brutus. I'm sorry, Caesar. 